emerald, sapphire, ruby veil. If you've got a soft spot for shiny things, then the Sapphire Gem Fields in central Queensland is the place for you. Some of the world's most famous sapphires have been found not too far from here. But more importantly, you too can come here and find yourself some precious gems, as long as you know where to look. Peter Brown from Ruby Vale is a man who's been looking in the right place for 40 years. And today, he's taking me underground to show me how he's made a living all these years. <laughs> this is very journey to the centre of the earth. It's incredible being 15 metres underground, and it's hard to imagine that Peter has probably spent years down here. I feel like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. <laughs> When Peter started in 1974, mining was very different to how it is today. But with this sort of gear, I can move a lot of dirt. So when I first started, I'd work one cubic metre a day with a hand pick and then with an electric jackhammer. Then I graduated to a jackhammer and a compressor. But now I've graduated to this sort of gear, I can shift a lot of dirt. So I can take the dirt that was nowhere near rich enough for the old timers. Virtually all of this will pay. Peter is originally from New Zealand and came to the gem fields when he was 21. He was looking for adventure and he found it. It was like a pioneering type place. It was rugged and free and seemed like such a great opportunity. I just grabbed it and just fell in love with it, you know. I used to dream about having this sort of gear when I first started, you know, but it took a long time to put together. Once Peter has transported the dirt to the automatic hoist, it's a short journey above ground to begin sorting. That looks a bit better. You see how it's smooth on the outside? Yes. Let's hold that up to the sun and see. Not much sun, but to see the blue colour through yep. there. That's quite a good stone, probably about 15 carats, 16 carats. For Peter, finding sapphires is just the first step. Back in Ruby Vale, he and his wife Eileen own the Ruby Vale Gem Gallery. And it's here that Peter cuts the sapphires and designs and manufactures jewellery. This is my special little collection that I've collected over 40 years of mining. I know. didn't know sapphires came in so many colours. And most people don't. I must say, it's quite special that you can buy a piece of jewellery from the very person who mined it. And I can explain where all these stones came from. Sometimes, you know, there's different colour ones here. This one, the purple one, came out of the mine I'm on at the moment. And just not long before that, I got the star sapphire. It's not really a job, is it? No. You've got to be real. The general public doesn't have access to Peter's mine, but that doesn't mean you can't go beneath ground when you head to the gem fields. At the Miners' Heritage, guests can enjoy Australia's largest walk-in underground sapphire mine tour. So you'll also notice that along through here, you've got that larger little bit of gravel. It's thicker, it's coarser. It's what we're all looking for when we mine. Kerry Wilson is the owner, and she believes the tour offers guests a real insight into the region's mining past. And the mine tour takes in the original mine for the area. It has been made a little bit larger, so it's more comfortable for everybody to have a, a good walk through. But the original tunnel systems date back from 1906 and we're very, very proud of having those here and to be able to share that history with everybody. The tour lasts for about 35 minutes and it's open to people of all ages. And best of all, afterwards visitors are invited to Fossick for themselves. Hey, are you having any luck over here? Little ones, lots of little ones. Really? Little well, that's tiny inspiring. Ones. <laughs> Hey, are you finding you're getting a little bit addicted to it? Like you go, oh, yeah. look, that's our last bucket. <laughs> it's great fun, though. Great fun. <laughs> fun indeed. Made all the more exciting because anything you find is yours to keep. Miners Heritage is open seven days a week. And when you visit, also pop into their showroom, which has a wonderful collection of gems for sale. And don't forget to say good day to Peter and Eileen at the Ruby Vale Gem Gallery. They also boast a cafe on site which has a mouth-watering menu. If you come to the gem fields at the right time of year, you can have the privilege of enjoying Gem Fest. It's a packed schedule of fun, food, entertainment and most importantly, gems. So join me after the break because I have a feeling that there are still plenty of precious stones to discover.
Sapphire gem fields are the largest sapphire fields in the Southern Hemisphere. So what better place to hold a festival devoted entirely to precious stones? Gemfest is a four-day event that draws thousands of visitors from around central Queensland and beyond. And it's not hard to figure out why. Diamonds, zircons, opals, rubies, <laughs> whatever takes your fancy, it's here. The little town of Anarchy almost bursts at the seams during the big event. And the four-day schedule offers so much, it's kind of hard to know where to start. Diane Miles is one of the festival organisers and she agrees that there's plenty for people to do. See lots of beautiful stones, see lots of jewellery if they want to buy some. There's a lot of rocks here, but there are also stores for other people. There are homemade silk scarves, handbags, belts, and they can also get involved. There's a gemologist here that will value their jewellery for them. And the Lapidary Club have a big store here so they can see how stones are set and things like that. And there's just something for everybody. Or people just like to buy a burger and sit and listen to the entertainment all day. I've decided to start with the jewels of the Outback exhibition. It's where the most valuable gems are found, like this $20,000 orange sapphire. The showroom is also where you'll find hard-working families like the Woodses, who mine and produce their own jewellery. So you're a mining family? Yes. Mum, Dad and the kids? Yes. So I grew up, you know, going down into the underground mine and... And have you been coming to Gemfest for years? Yes. So since I was little and I would hide underneath the cabinet, so... And then you grew and grew yeah, and grew? Yeah, now I'm above the cabinet, helping out. Next door, visitors are invited to try lapidry, courtesy of the local lapidry club. So what exactly is lapidry? Lapidry is the working of stones. So lapidry is very much the stone polishing and the cleaning, but then the club yeah. makes them into jewellery yeah, or... because we're a craft club as well. We're the Gemfields Lapidry and Craft Club. I'm very good at this, but I'm hoping to move on to one of those trees shortly. <laughs> oh, look at that! Not I did one. Oh, okay. on, see, it's got to be, it's got to level up. Oh, yes, You've got yes. to have it, you know, okay. so that yeah. nearly, look at that. Ah, oh, well done, Bridget. <laughs> I could join the club. <laughs> Kids can also learn some new tricks and be kept busy at Gemfest thanks to the circus workshops. Ready? One, two, three, go. Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada. Yeah, that is good. She's a very clever lady. Oh, I'm definitely going to join. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Faster, faster, faster. Okay. I knew I couldn't juggle at 47 for a reason. Oh, no. So, up, up, up. Yes, oh. yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. Up, 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 up. Yes. Should I retire now? You are, you've, been, you've been training elsewhere, haven't you? you haven't no, but I'm going to. to. I'm going to go home and really show off to the family about this. Now here's a bit of fun, it's called stake your claim. You pay your money and you get a flag, you write your details down. Then this is all a map of the gem fields. I am going to guess where I think the next treasure is. I think it's there. If I've chosen the right spot, I could win precious stones, all sorts of treats, even a trip holiday at the Sunshine Coast. Good luck to me. Gem Fest will be on again next year from the 6th to the 9th of August. Head to the website for all the details. And I'd recommend booking your accommodation early because it tends to fill up fast. A great place to base yourself is at Ramboda Homestead. It's in Anarchy and the property is within walking distance to Gemfest itself. It has plenty of room, lovely gardens and the homemade breakfasts are delicious. I had such a lovely stay and I would highly recommend it. Finally, if you're heading out to Gemfest next year or to central Queensland any time of the year, then why not go with Queensland Rail Travel? The spirit of the outback provides a relaxing journey to anarchy and the train departs from Brisbane twice a week on Tuesdays and Saturdays.